Worst flag proposals. Does anyone know which country's proposed flag this emoji-looking flag is? You may be shocked, but it's France. It seemed very strange to me when I first saw it, but maybe it can be used with a different emoji. What do you say, France? These are the flags proposed for Germany. But it was this flag that I didn't like the most. An attempt was made to make the flag look like a very familiar country, but the color combination did not allow it to be beautiful. Thank you, German government, for not choosing this. Do you think this is a flag proposal or a drawing made by an elementary school child? What you see is the first unofficial flag proposal for the island of Reunion, made in 1995. I'm sure you won't be able to guess which country's proposed flag this is. This flag, prepared for India in 1904, disappeared into history along with its other rejected friends, thankfully. This is the Palestinian flag. I gave you detailed information in this video about how Arab flags are designed. I recommend you watch it. You can find the link in the description. This was Asma Tubi's suggestion in 1929. Especially the color inconsistencies here are eye-catching. No wonder it was rejected. I want to show you a very confusing flag. I think the guy who designed this tried to use all the symbolism he thought represented the country. He even used a symbol twice. Can you pause the video here and write your predictions in the comments for which country this is proposed for? Don't cheat though. I am waiting. This flag was proposed for a United Ireland by the Irish Times in 1928. By the way, don't you think the flag on the far right is quite beautiful? I bet no one can guess who this razor-looking flag proposal belongs to. Any guesses? This flag proposal was prepared for Russia by Andrew Klobistin. The more interesting part is that this proposal was made in 1997. I guess some people didn't like this flag, which started to be used after the collapse of the Soviet Union. This flag proposal was made in 1952 for use in Egypt. Although the Nile River is one of the important symbols of Egypt, its use on the flag did not seem very aesthetic to the Egyptian rulers. You may be wondering what this fancy clothing brand-like logo is doing on the flag. Jamaica also thought the same way and chose this instead in 1962. This flag proposal was made to Kuwait in 1906. But in my opinion, it is far from resembling a flag. That's why it never became a flag. Let's look at Bolivia. They removed the emblem from the original flag and placed Minecraft patterns in the section they took from its corner. This flag, known as the Wifala proposal, was rejected as proposed in 2006. The flag you see on the screen was designed by Julio Ribeiro in 1888 as the flag of the Republic of Brazil. Brazilians must have disliked this as much as I did, so they rejected this proposal. But eventually, it started to be used as the flag of the state of Sao Paulo. In 1949, there were dozens of flag proposals in China. As you can see from the colors and symbols in most of them, the spirit of communism was prevalent. But this design seemed very meaningless to me, especially considering that period. This flag, known as the New Granada Proposal, was presented as the flag of Colombia in 1833. I think those who rejected the proposal may have thought that it reminded them more of a country in Africa than Colombia. Many flag proposals were made for Fiji in 2015. Even though there is more than one bad-looking design among them, this one attracts a lot of attention. I mean, look at this. The mismatch of colors and the use of symbols. What is this? A type of shark fin? No need for a secret. From the logo in the middle, you probably understand that this is a proposed flag for Mexico. But what are these irregular blue and white boxes? They probably wanted to symbolize the lakes in the country, but come on, you can do better, which they already did. In 2010, Myanmar adopted this flag as their official flag. But in 2019, the National Unity Party came up with such a strange proposal. A colorful flag shows the map of the country with its provinces. Did it happen? Of course not. What you see on the screen is a flag proposal made by Whitney Smith for Aruba in 1976. Considering flags in general, I put this on the list because I can't compare it to a flag at all. This is the current official flag of Norway. What you see on the screen are other flag proposals for Norway. I think their current flag is fine, but if you ask which was the worst proposal, I would choose this one. I mean, look at this, a giant letter N in the flag? Fortunately, they were all rejected. These are South Africa's flag proposals. As in the current flag, beautiful and vibrant colors were used. 
but these four flag proposals seemed extremely unnecessary to me. Why use existing flags when you can create a completely unique flag for a country? When I first saw this, I thought it was a Far East advertising banner. But when I later learned that this was a flag proposal for Taiwan, I immediately wanted to put it on the list. Best flag proposals. Belgium has been using this flag since 1831. I guess someone got bored and wanted to add some action to their flag in 2008. I think it's great. While I was first wondering if they might have been inspired by Minecraft, I then realized that Minecraft appeared exactly one year after this flag. It would be great if it were accepted. Can you write in the comments what you think? Canada started using this flag in 1965. Until that period, they used different flag combinations, including the Union Jack. In fact, in 1947, flags without the Union Jack and with the maple leaf were proposed. But my guess is that Canada was not ready to use them at that time due to political loyalties. Exactly one year before they changed to their current flag, this proposal was made during the Great Flag Debate, featuring 10 maple leaves. In my opinion, this flag would be a great choice for Canada. But of course, as was obvious, it was rejected. Hong Kong is another former British colony. They started using this flag when they gained independence in 1997. As we understand from the proposals in 1988, the groups within Hong Kong seem to have been unable to decide whether to be independent, remain in close contact with China, or carry the British colors. Finally, they decided on this flag. Even though I like this flag, I think I would have liked it more if this yin yang-like flag had been used. It reflects the Far Eastern culture wonderfully. This is the flag of Greenland. But why is there no green in the flag of a country with green in its name? Let's look at the flag proposals for Greenland. In fact, they presented a flag design that was exactly what I had in mind. There are many Scandinavian cross-themed flag designs that include the color green. Which makes sense when you consider that almost all Nordic countries and regions use the Nordic cross in their flags. But it is not possible to understand why they were rejected. You may be thinking that the Slovenian flag is not bad at all. I agree with you. But except for the symbol in the upper left corner, it is similar to the flags of all countries in the world. But look at the beauty of the flags over there. It seems that in 2003, Slovenia missed the opportunity to have one of the most unique and beautiful flags in the world. We talked about the formation of the Union Jack. It is a symbol formed by the combination of the flags of these countries. So, where is Wales? In 2007, Margaret Hodge must have thought about this and suggested this flag. But the Welsh dragon could not enter the heart of the Union Jack. Finally, this flag proposed for Ireland is again among my favorite flag proposals. The reason I like this is that it has a more unique structure than the current flag. As I mentioned in the previous video, there are similar ones to the Irish flag. Don't forget to watch that video too. I would be happy if you liked the video and subscribed.